All right, well, here with me in the studio to talk about South Africa, where it's headed, and the potential leadership role he could play in it, I'd like to welcome Musi Maimani, the leader of South Africa's biggest opposition party, the Democratic Alliance. A very good evening, sir. It's good to have you here in uh, person. Um, Contextualize this uh, for us. I mean, today, South Africa is the wealthiest and most unequal society in Africa. How big of a problem is corruption in your country? Look, I, I think corruption is a massive issue. It's um, as the conservative estimate of 6.2 billion rands. But what I think corruption in South Africa indicates is that it's become a systemic thing. Every contract that is conceived in South Africa by the state has elements of corruption in it. It's almost as though as former president uh, of South Africa described it, he said, every project that is built is built with corruption in mind. And therefore, it means that the resources of the states have been stolen. Many South Africans are left unemployed as a result of it. And naturally, I think that it indicates of the fact that the ANC as a ruling party has become a party that is suffering from the cancer of corruption that has taken over every sector of society. All right. Now, how are you ensuring that your party, the Democratic Alliance DA, does not suffer from that corruption? Because, I mean, you're in South Africa, so yeah. it, it maybe runs through many uh, levels of uh, government. What are you doing to ensure that you're not tainted uh, by that type of corruption? Well, the fight against corruption needs serious accountability. And so from where we sit, our starting point is to make sure we build a capable state. You've got to attract people to the administration that in fact are not loyal to any party political system, but are focused on a capable state. So that when corrupt politicians come on board, the administration is able to hold them to account. Secondly, I think it's important that you build institutions that fight against corruption. What the ANC successfully did is they managed to send people to key institutions like the prosecuting authority. They appointed people who were aligned to them. So politicians never became prosecuted. Thirdly, I think we are always saying to ourselves as a party, once you've built those institutions attractive to people who can do the job, you have to ensure that where corruption occurs, you immediately prosecute. And that's why we've taken a strong stance against it. And our policy offer going even now is to say where there are corrupt politicians, they must be locked away in jail for a long time. There's a state capture inquiry taking place in South Africa right now, and yet not a single arrest has been made. This is a crime, a secondary crime, over and above the issue of corruption. I'm just wondering if you're fighting an uphill battle here, because of course you know better than anybody else, the ANC is a legacy party, a, a towering legacy. I mean, it ended racial uh, apartheid. So many people, South Africans, feel that they're indebted to this uh, uh, party. Their loyalty is with this party. What are you doing? What, what is the Democratic Alliance doing to resonate with some of those voters? Yeah, and this is for me the bit that is most exciting. I don't hold hatred to the ANC. I think it played a very crucial role in liberation politics. The question for South Africa now is about South Africa's future. We can reflect at length about yesterday, about the role the ANC played, and that was crucial. But when we look at the future of South Africa, the questions on the table are, how do we create jobs for, yes, for South Africans? How do we ensure that we live in a country where all races can prosper together? How do we ensure that we take our place in the League of Nations in the world as a country that stands for human rights and are defenders of freedom? That's the future of South Africa. So the work that I'm doing currently as a party is to build that party for all South Africans. We're the only new South African party. We're the only party in South Africa that is reflective of all races. And ultimately creating an economic offer that is attractive to more jobs. So where we govern as the Democratic Alliance, we govern in all the major cities in South Africa. We dictate we govern for 16 million citizens. We control most of the local government economy. And there, new jobs are being created and no money is being stolen. And I think the majority of South Africans are desperate for a government that will be able to prepare them for the future they want. Now, um, the other uphill battle that you're facing is that many in uh, South Africa view the Democratic Alliance, the DA, as kind of the successors of uh, the former apartheid rulers. Uh, the perception uh, is that the DA is, is for affluent white South Africans, is it? No, I think that's a propaganda always given by liberation movements. People never believed that the DA would be a party that governs a city like Johannesburg, which is a cosmopolitan city. And when we came in there, we campaigned 
we demonstrated to the people of South Africa that we're the only party that can bring all South Africans together. And it's a project that very few parties in the world are doing. We're the ones that are doing it. And we demonstrated that where we now govern, life is improving for South Africans. So for us, when we look at where we stand as a party, we are across all races, all different religions, different cultures. And that's the vision that Nelson Mandela would have stood for. And that is a vision that we still hold. And therefore, I'm comfortable to learn that um, we will show to the people of this country that that's the future they're looking for. And they, they're showing their trust by voting for the deer. You were successful in Johannesburg, but of course there were some issues in Cape Town, which we can't, we don't have enough time to get into uh, here for now. Now, um, the ANC has let, uh, of course, South Africa since the end of apartheid. Uh, what's the difference between Mr. Sarah Ramaphosa and you? Why should you lead South Africa? One, Mr. Ramaphosa has been part of the ANC system of corruption. He's part of the furniture. He's part of what's brought the economic challenge that South Africa has come into. Um, the difference here is that South Africa needs a, a change. It needs a change from his own views that stand for a state-led economic development, I want to focus on a market-based economy where private citizens are able to attract wealth. I certainly want to defend South Africans' ability to be able to own property in their own rights as individuals, whereas he's advancing a policy position where there can be expropriation of land without compensation. He certainly, in my view, held up in a party that still does not believe or certainly advancing a non-racial future for South Africa, whereas I'm standing up going, we can build a party for all South Africans. So this is about a, a contest between a generation of leaders that came from a liberation movement in the past and a, gen a new generation of leaders that I'm part of that wants to take South Africa to a collective shared future for all. All right, the post-apartheid generation. In conclusion, one of uh, the government's uh, most popular ministers uh, just made uh, a statement. Let's take a listen and we'll continue our conversation right after that. ANC is endangered to the point of losing credibility in society and power in government. That our leadership election processes are becoming corrupted by vote buying and gatekeeping. All right, that's quite a statement uh, there and reinforces some of the things that you have been sharing with us here. Uh, former ANC uh, uh, supporters have now formed a powerful, well, I don't know, if on the fringes, uh, communist uh, uh, party, the Economic Freedom Fighters, the EFF. Um, is the ANC crumbling from within and can you capitalize on that? You know, uh, Do you uh, want to capitalize on oh, that? Absolutely. Uh, uh, it's not even about just taking on, it's about creating a new coalition of South Africans mm -hmm. who actually still hold on to non-racialism, who actually want an economy that is growing. And certainly the faction of the economic freedom fighters resemble in many ways a fairly fascist movement in South Africa and a populist one. We're not interested in populist ideas. We're interested in an economy that is growing that will create jobs for more people. So for us, we're feeling confident that the future of South Africa must be what the DA offers. And it is certainly something that uh, we're championing. And as uh, Minister Pravin Godan just said, the ANC is suffering from the cancer of corruption that it's crumbling and losing credibility. And I think what we've got to do is to say to ourselves, we will oppose corruption and build that future of a capable state for all the people. Musi Meimani, the leader of South Africa's biggest opposition party, Democratic Alliance. Thank you. Much appreciated.